We are the global sustainer for the Department of Defense. Nothing moves without us. I'm Major General Vince Barker, Chief of Staff, United States Transportation Command. I think that the events over the last two years especially have kind of really magnified just how, how important the work that we do is. The withdrawal from Afghanistan, the Afghan NEO, Operation Baby Formula. Of course, over the last 18 months supporting UCOM in Ukraine. It's, it's given an opportunity to really show to people that don't know just what an incredible job U.S. Transcom does and what we do. So I think the thing that's inspired me to join the military the most is uh, just hearing the stories. My dad was an Army veteran. Uh, all four of his brothers were veterans. Two of my mom's brothers were veterans. And I, just growing up hearing those stories and knowing right away from a very early age I wanted to be in the military. When I was growing up, if I wasn't out in the woods hunting or fishing or playing sports, I was either with my G.I. Joes or Army men. But I think as far as inspiration, it'd be my, my dad and all those relatives of mine that had served and hearing their stories and what it did for them. Since I was 14 years old, that's all I wanted to be was a Marine. I got pulled in by the Marine Corps, by their history, the, the uniform, the discipline. My dad would have rather seen me do something else because he's an Army veteran, but I want to be a Marine. He's okay, you go for it, you go, right? You do it, you do it right. And I was talking to my dad on the phone uh, right before I, my, I was discharged. And I knew at that time I was going to be going to school at Wisconsin Stevens Point. And my dad says, well, why don't you look at joining Army ROTC? But there were people early in my career, and then even like an ROTC, that may have felt like, you know, you may not be, you might not have what it takes to be a, a really good officer or senior officer in the Army. And when I thought about it, I'm like, I'm not going to let them to determine what I can be, right, or who I can be. You own your destiny, right? And I, I tell my son that all the time. My son's a Army Reserve soldier, and I tell him that all the time. Look, you determine what you can do. I was commissioned out of uh, Wisconsin to this point ROTC in 1987, commissioned into the Wisconsin Army National Guard until I transferred to the Army Reserve. My family overcame a lot of challenges over my entire career. Being a reserve officer, you're juggling all these responsibilities. A lot of it was just not having my time. Oh, not to mention the multiple deployments, stateside mobilizations while I was away from home. And I tried real hard not to, to let those responsibilities detract from my family time, but it's, it's hard. I gotta say my family, was, my wife is, is great, they're the best, you know, to keep supporting me with all that. But I think resiliency is probably one of the greatest strengths that a military person and their family members need to have. You, you have to be resilient, you have to be flexible, and you have to be willing to accept the challenges that come along with this profession. Logistics is not glamorous business, and people forget how important, you know, sustainment is, logistics is. We are the only nation in the world that has the capability and the capacity to conduct the global sustainment operations that, that we do. That's what makes us special, right? But just because of the capability the United States has to deliver anything, anywhere, and no other nation has that capability. And I think that's what makes us the, you know, the global force that we are. Serving for 42 years, what an honor and privilege it is to serve our nation. There's nothing like it. The closeness you have with, with, with your teammates, the sacrifice that you make to, together, that's what makes being a military special. It's a special group. The level of talent that we have in this organization, top to bottom, is phenomenal. I've never seen anything like it. I've been in a lot of organizations, a lot of great organizations, but I'm telling you from uh, Transcom, it's just what an incredible pool of people we have, have here that not only are talented, brilliant, smart, but dedicated, love their work. Our Transcom teammates, what, what an honor and privilege it's been to serve with them. I'm, I'm awed by you every single day, always will be. It's such a bit, we, uh, Stephanie and I have been so blessed to be here for these last two years. We're gonna miss everybody here a great deal. You know, it's been a privilege and honor and I just thank every one of you for it.